Okay, brothers and sisters, today we are going to look at something very interesting. And as you can all see on your screen, uh, today we are going to look at how to resolve this very problem. When I double click on this quick book, for instance, and then try to log in. You see that it displaying this error that is invalid products number so how can we resolve this to do this click on ok what you must do first is that you must first remove the quickbook software go to your control panel Then when you go to your control panel just go to where we have program and and i'd like you to scroll down here and come to where we have the quickbook and double click on it to be removed click on ok So after it is removed, what I'd like you to do is that close this, refresh, go to this PC, come to the local disk, and come to program data, and you can see we have Intuit here in the program data, this Intuit file. Okay, what I'd like you to do is that go ahead and delete this Intuit file and after you are done go back come to where we have users come to default now come to where we have app data come to location and see whether you can see the Intuit file or folder again come to tempo there's none so go back then after that i like you to come to public again in the public come to public document you see an intuit file there do not delete that one let's go back and come to this pos come to app data come to location come to tempo there's now go back and go back again go back now i like you to go ahead and come to where we have program file that is x86 open that and you can see we have intuit here select that and delete that okay then after that i like you to go back and come to the program file is of this very one double click on it and look for tempo intuit so we have only one intuit one intuit again intuit again there's none that means everything is gone go back and come to windows look for intuit intuit There's none. Look for tempo. And this tempo. Open it. In it, look for intuit. So there's no intuit. Go back. So have you done all this? Uh, there's one thing I'd like us to do again. Let's come back to users. And let's come to the name of the shop. Come to where we have uh, app data here. Come to location. And you can see we have Intuit here. Select that and delete. Come to where we have Tempo, double click. You see Intuit here and delete. Now we are OK. Close it. Refresh. 
go ahead and right click and click on empty recycle bin click on yes let everything be deleted now we are done so first you need to get your what your quickbook as a backup somewhere so uh, because um, accessing this in one of my clients folder I'll go to uh, my one of my clients machine I'm using any decks so I go to this PC and I'll go to where we have local decks and I go to program data because I copy uh, the file there in the costy folder in case if there's a problem I can equally operate uh, the machine so currently I'm operating the machine in my office at the shop so I'll click on costy and in the costy you can see here I have the quickbook here I'll double click on it to install Then I click on next. Then I click on accept next. So after I'm done now, I need to go ahead and then uh, put my instructions. So I'll double click on instructions, which is this. Put it here. Open this and type. type in my license key and my product key I'll go ahead and click on next and I'll select two or more and click on next and I wanted to use it as a server so I'll select server workstation next and click on install done I don't want to launch it so I'll uncheck and click on finish then what I'll do is that I'll go ahead and come to my activation right click and click on run as admin and go ahead and press enter and press enter again to continue and wait for it Done. So now it's been asking me to open my QuickBook. So I'll go ahead and launch my QuickBook, uh, which I'll launch it on my desktop. Then I'll select do not crack now and wait for it for a while. Now instead of selecting company, I'll to select open practice mode. Click on next. Use sample data. Click on next. And click on OK. And click on uh, remind me later and I'll click on OK again and close this so after I've done that what I'll do is that you can see here is telling me that I should go to help and go to register so I click here and go to help and come to register and I'll click on what we have what's register my phone number and I'll come here and select my phone number copy that select this and paste it here and I'll go ahead and click on next and click on finish and that is done 
now take it out from the way the next thing i like to do is that after you can see here after i'm done it's telling me i should click on next finish and also i should go ahead and start from what uh, step 21 okay so what i'll do is i'll click here and come to my text editor and step 21 this step 21 that i should click on click help and go to try see here that's step 21 okay so that's what i'm going to do uh telling me that i should go ahead so i should go ahead and click on uh my step 21 I should go ahead and click on help click on a uh, try point of sales okay so i'll click on help then i'll come to try point of sales and click on next and continue now click on finish so after doing that now after that what I must do again is that after following step 21 again it's telling me that I should go to help and click on buy and produce the buy lance and so I'll click on help click on buy and here I must type the buy lance here nicely the license number I'm providing it and I'll go ahead and type just copy this and paste that and click on next and go ahead and click on next again and click on confirm to finish it then i'll click on finish and that is done the next thing i'll be doing is that as indeed i'm done so everything is settled but here i want to use kind of like 10 users here okay uh, 30 users okay not five so i click on help and come to where we have more and select additional users you see it is one so i'll select where i have uh 10 30 users and click on next and finish so now when I come to help and come to uh, buy and click on additional answers you can see that I changed to 30 users okay cancel that so after I'm done what I'll do next is I'll click here and I'm done so I'll press enter it's going to close the quick book to close the quick book and i'll press enter and it will close everything now now i need to come here the updated go click on update and i'll double click on the update to install the update also because i updated it and click on update launch it now I'll click on finish and close this and close that and 
closes and refresh and refresh and launch the point of sales so after I've launched it I'll select do not notify me and click on OK and wait for it to launch click on OK and click on continue and close this now click on file go to company operation and select open an existing company and wait for it to open then I'll go ahead and launch again come to my product all my products are intact thank you guys so much for watching catch you in the next lesson bye bye Armstrong computers we're leading the way bringing IC to your doorstep every day where vision meets excellence we stand strong transforming students where they belong in the halls of knowledge we light the spark